Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Georgia house. I am sitting in, yes, the same place that I filmed a couple of vlogs before. I really haven't been back home to Georgia in the summer since 2017 and I'm actually home alone right now. Well, actually not alone. I just mean without my siblings. So Lindsay doesn't get into town for like three more days and I've already been here for a minute. Today is the 19th. I got in on the 15th. I haven't been vlogging because I've been hanging out with friends and family and just seeing a lot of people, honestly. And today is Saturday, June 19th when I'm filming this. It's Juneteenth. So I just wanted to sit down and start filming this vlog. But yeah, man, I've been doing a lot. I guess I should kind of like tell you why I'm home. So Finley and I are both home in our respective hometowns right now while we are starting to get the ball rolling for wedding planning. Um, so we want to get married next year. And so right now we're like trying to figure out just all of the things. The main reason I came home was to try on wedding dresses, which I'm doing on Tuesday, the day after Lindsay comes home. So she gets in on the 21st. And I wanted to come a little bit earlier than that just to like see friends that I haven't seen in a while, ask my girlies to be my bridesmaids, which I did, um, all my hometown friends. And yeah, man, it's just been a really good Good time. So I'm here until the morning of June 24th and then we are road tripping up to Virginia, me, my mom, my dad, and my sister. And Colin couldn't come home around this time from Wyoming. So we're just going, the four of us, up there to meet Finley's family. Well, I know them, but my family has never met his family before. And we're friggin' engaged, you know? I was like, you guys have to make this happen. So I decided, why don't we do an East Coast trip? We do like a little mini road trip. It's like nine and a half hours between our hometowns. So we're gonna be up there not only for meeting their family, but also to kind of find like hotels for guests for the wedding because we're gonna get married in Virginia at his family's property. So that's the haps, that's what's happening. We are going to be going there for like, well, my family is only gonna be there for like two full days, really three days maybe. And um, me and Finley are going to be staying there until we fly home. So I'm gonna be getting back on like the late night of June 30th. And so, yeah, it's gonna be a long trip. June 15th through the 30th is when I'll be gone and away from the dogs. And I have my friend Maddie who's house sitting for us and the dogs are having a hoot and hollering time with her and the hogs are as well. And they're taking care of the garden and everything like that, so. Good to go. Those are all my updates. Now, what I have been doing while I haven't been vlogging has been a lot. And I have my planner right here so I can go back and reminisce. I often do this on Twitch. I'll be like, what did I do today? And then I'll like <laughs> go and look at my planner and be like, okay, so I like did all of this and just go through the things. Let me know if you want more planner content cause honey, I have it, okay? But yeah, so on Tuesday the 15th, Finley left like three hours before me and then I flew into Georgia. My best friend Gina picked me up from the airport and we hung out for a little bit and then she dropped me off at home and I just like ate dinner with my parents. The next day I went to go and get my nails done with her and that's when I asked her to be one of my bridesmaids. You guys probably haven't seen me with my nails done in for freaking ever, but I figured why not? Georgia peach vibes. And then I got like dark green on my toes, but I'm not gonna show you my free feet, okay? <laughs> Anyways, my mom and dad and I had dinner that night too on that day that I got my nails done and um, we were just talking all of the wedding things like just wedding this, wedding that, talking about the guest list and I have been working on narrowing down the guest list because I already have a Christmas card list of 170 people insane so um i'm kind of trying to narrow that down because like with plus ones and stuff if you double 170 honey it's not good it's not a good number for what i'm aiming for i'm aiming for less than 200 ideally <laughs> but i do want a big wedding anyways while i've been home because like i said my siblings aren't here i've had a lot of free time just to like work on that shit on my google docs just vibing you know and then the other night i went over to my friend abby's house who's been one of my best friends since i was two we went to like preschool together so 
asked her to be one of my bridesmaids, asked my friend Mia from high school as well to be one of my bridesmaids because she came over that night and Abby and I just like played Just Dance until like 4 a.m. and talked our faces off until we fell asleep. So that was really nice. And Abby actually just got engaged too. So it's cool that we're engaged at the same time because nobody else really of our friends back home is engaged. So we're just talking about all the wedding things together which has been great as well for me to have somebody to gab with. And then yesterday, which was Friday, I pretty much did like emails and work stuff for most of the day and was kind of like recovering after my night with my friends. But then one of my neighbor friends hit me up and was like, hey, we're having a surprise going away party for Nick tonight if you wanna come up to the clubhouse at the pool. And I was like, oh shit, I would love to do that. So I was there last night seeing all of my old neighborhood friends, all of, you know, the parents everything gabbing about where people are now what college they went to all of the things and I was up there swimming in the neighborhood pool and just getting crazy doing the big skinny dip until like 1 a.m. and then <laughs> I woke up at like 8 45 and went to yoga with my mom like an hour away <laughs> And it was brewery yoga and I've never done yoga in a brewery before but then you get a free beer after the class It was iconic. There was like live music outside of the brewery and it was just lovely And then it wasn't lovely anymore and it's been raining ever since So that's when I figured I should just start this vlog because I was like It's just raining. It's kind of a gloomy vibe. I started my period today and I just want to like lay around and be like Bleh, You know so um, might as well just talk to you instead. Happy to be home, happy to be checking in with you guys, telling you all of the updates. I know a lot of you have been like, I want more wedding content. And I'm like, I don't have it yet. This is literally me getting the ball rolling. <laughs> it's coming on this trip, you know? It's like starting to do all of that stuff. And I don't know, it's just been nice to hang out with my parents. And I really haven't spent much time um, at home with none of my siblings before. So I just have a lot of free time to cuddle the dogs which i'll show you tika lula aurora all the girlies they're here anyways just want to check in with you and say where the hell i am and say welcome back to the revival of sister summer it's been a while we haven't done like official sister summer vlogs since summer of 2017 so it's been uh, many years and i figured why not just revive it while we're home give you that vlog content that i know you guys love dearly and i love making so love you thanks for watching hi my pretty girl look at her little tongue you always have your little tongue out now well, I think it's because her teeth. Really yeah, her also. her teeth aren't holding it in anymore. This is Tika's favorite place to be, just hanging in the sun <laughs> in her bed with her little pillowcase. Today she was actually playing ball, which was shocking. But she wanted to play ball so much, and now she's totally exhausted <laughs> from her hyperness. Yes, yeah, I saw. Her. I saw you. Video of her it's so cute. She was growling and everything. She was like, ah. You're so jazzy, just like you're five years old again. <laughs> Add 10 years on to that. Yeah, you're getting up there. Oh, Lila, I found you. Come over here. What? What's in your beard? What the? She's so dirty. Hi, Rory. Hi, Aurora. Hi, pretty. Wow, you kissed the camera. That's so nice. So nice of you. She's such a sweetie this trip to me. She let me hug her today. Oh, you're smiling. You love to smile for pictures. That's your favorite thing. Lula, where did you go? What is that a leaf in your beard? Lula, really, I gotta get it out, girlfriend. There we go. <gasps> you had a leaf in your beard. This is Lula's favorite thing in the whole wide world. You have your ball? And these. She goes crazy with her stuffed animal. <laughs> Lula is eight years old and Tika is 14. How old is Aurora? Aurora is six. six. Are you playing? <laughs> My mom has some really great bird feeders out and there's some beautiful birds that have been coming to the house. Okay, let's go see the plants, girly. No, don't chase the birds, that's mean. So it's a little rainy, it just stopped raining actually, but I wanted to show you 
I was complaining recently in a vlog about all of the blackberries in Oregon and how we have invasive like Himalayan blackberry species and Oregon trailing blackberries, but my mom has this blackberry bush slash it's really like a tree and it's like staked up and there's no thorns even on it. It's insane. So every day she comes out, she picks her little berries off of it. It's incredible. Look at it. She has a couple of other plants in here that the, they have a lot of deer in our neighborhood. So there's like a lot of deer that even get so bold as to come up here and eat their tomatoes and other various things. I think this is garlic, um, oregano, have some little flowers and stuff like that. Some basil, some nice, just like grabbable herbs. My mom started gardening more when I got more into gardening as well. But all of this is like deer netted. She has eggplants, herbs over here. Honestly, like the back garden area back here is thriving. Um, also some gorgeous rosemary darling, one of my favorites. And then they have a very small little garden bed back here that has a scary mask on it to um, scare away all of the um, birds and stuff like a scarecrow, a makeshift scarecrow. But because there's so many deer that, you know, come up here and they, there's no fencing in here, so they get pretty crazy. My parents also have a plot at our community garden. My mom took me there the other day and it was so nice to see. I love gardening and that she's into it as much as me. She has some lavender and mint and like a little lime tree and the gardenias are thriving. It's stunning dueling. Lula's totally TO'd that she didn't get to come to dinner. No, you wouldn't have liked the brewery. You don't, you, no, there's no espresso martinis for you. <laughs> Me and my parents are about to watch The Big Lebowski after dinner. I forgot to film at dinner. I was really living it up. Had a beer, split it with my dad, couldn't finish it. Total amo. Had an espresso martini, delicious. Love her work. From the Earth Brewing Company in Alpharetta. Highly recommend. And yeah, we're gonna go watch a movie. We're having family movie night with the dogs. Tika's already ready for bed. Nobody's shocked. She's done partying for the day and she said, take me to bed. I agree. <laughs> good morning one, good morning all. It's currently Father's Day. So I have just gotten ready and I just threw on a little sundress moment and I need to hydrate because Lord knows my voice sounds a little hoarse in the mornings <laughs> but me and my dad are going to waffle house i'm so excited it's gonna be a great time he loves waffle house i love waffle house i mean what better reason than today to go you know so we're gonna go do that and then because it's pretty rainy out still my original plan was to go on a river walk with him and my dog lula because she loves the river and lula's more like my dad's dog right now. She's just obsessed with him. They're just BFFs. And I just don't know if that plan's gonna happen because it's pretty freaking gross outside. But I'll keep you updated and keep vlogging, so I'll just let you know whatever we end up doing. Guys, we've come to the motherland. It's really, it's a Father's Day moment. Everybody's in there. They're waiting for us. It's happening. It's happening. Hold on, I need to know. Hi, Dad. <laughs> what are you gonna get? Do you know? Oh, uh, yes. Do you have a usual? Yes. I'm gonna get the Texas bacon, egg, and cheese melt. Yeah. With I always tell him to get that. Yeah. It's my he always considers order. and he never gets it, and I say it's my dad's favorite. It's my go to. It's, all, it's, it's the only thing I've gotten for about the last 15 years. <laughs> they Literally. should know it by now. Yes. For you. Should, I'm a regular. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm gonna get my chocolate chip waffle and maybe some hash browns covered with cheese and two eggs. Solid order. I know that my switch says that it's 8.47 p.m. and it is on the west coast, but it's actually 11.47 here. And I'm currently just playing Animal Crossing while listening to the Cheers Brother podcast. Honestly, my dudes, I have not been doing anything that crazy since starting this vlog and Lindsay gets in tomorrow. So she's gonna be my crazy content, you know? And 
<laughs> my dad and I went to Waffle House earlier today for Father's Day and we had a really nice time, really good chats. And when we got home, I have just been working on a brand deal and getting some work done, writing out my talking points, just all that stuff. And I've been doing that pretty much all day because in the next two days, like I said, Lindsay comes tomorrow. And then the day after that, I have my wedding dress try on. And then the day after that, we're going to Virginia. So it's a full agenda and I needed to get my work done today before um, having Lindsay come into town and all of that other crazy stuff happening because my due date for the brand is on the 22nd, AKA my wedding dress try on date. And I'm like, I got enough to worry about brother. I don't want to worry about all that, you know? <laughs> So I'm just trying to get it done early and I should have just got it done before I left Oregon. But honestly, dude, I haven't had this amount of downtime in Oregon in a really long time because I was preparing for a lot of things. It's peak gardening time at home right now. We've been very busy with projects, with also having a social life again now that we're fully vaccinated and just other various things, you know, I've just been trying to prepare for this trip for um, the past few weeks in Oregon as well and just like pre-filming and getting stuff uploaded to Patreon and getting videos filmed for you guys on here on my main channel and just all the things. So I was a busy bee and now that I have all this downtime, I've just been like doing wedding planning and then also getting other work done like the brand deal stuff. So yeah. That's the haps on that, but I just wanted to kind of update you and be like, sorry, literally this entire vlog so far has just been me at home with my parents and the dogs, but also like, I think you guys love that kind of content, but if it's a little low key, it's because my life is low key here. I've been very relaxed and just hanging the hell out. See y'all later. Lula, you're such a camera hog. All you ever want to do is hang out. This is all you do all day, you say. Oh. I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. Someone itch me, someone cuddle me, somebody play ball with me. Eight years old, still a perma pup. Never left it. Beep, beep, beep. Wide load. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Lula, you're not allowed to come with me, but we're about to go pick up Lindsay, okay? So just say, see y'all later. I gotta go get in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, watch this. <laughs> That's called break dancing, Lula. You slipped a tongue in, that's horrible. <laughs> you're funny. You really are funny. Wish I could bring you, but I don't really want to because you're kind of a crazy ass. <laughs> you're kind of a crazy ass in the car. Yeah, sometimes she had a time in the car. Remember I told you that she tried to crawl under the seat? Yeah. And, I, and, then, and then, then she pretended to throw up, which is like... <laughs> Send Aurora into a tailspin. And then I thought Aurora was going to bounce into the front seat. I was like, I need an exit. You guys are so dramatic. Right now. Rue used to get car sick when we first got her, but only for like a week and now she's fine. Hey, Rory. Aurora just had a couple of vaccines at the vet, so she's really wanting to just hang out and chill. You did so good at the vet today, oh, Aurora. Good. You're a rock star. I see somebody named Lucinda Limon. hopeless woman getting kicked out. <laughs> he literally, he collected your things. He was like, time to go He now. said, I was waiting on you with the dough. <laughs> How are you? I am good. A long flight. I picked up the woman and I, oh shit. I'm playing Miss Swift. Why? <laughs> yeah, you didn't she even know. She beat me to it like she always does, <laughs> baby. I snuck it in. Oh my God, I knocked over that bike. That's Lindsay. Oh. Go oh, say hi to Lindsay. Hi. Hi! Go say hi to Lindsay! <laughs> wow, it's a dog party. So cutie. <laughs> Goes outside for two minutes. Immediately gets violently attacked. Can you even see it? I got a huge bug bite on my back. Um, but such is the way of life in the South. Why do I look so red? <laughs> I didn't even get sunburned. It's not even that sunny out.
you want to go get ice cream? Yeah. You might want to go get a little coffee and ice cream. Yeah, brother. <laughs> I love how I just did a reaction for this time. Like, I, I, did, I said nothing. I did nothing. La 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 la. Mm. Oh. <laughs> We both got waffle cones, I got the coffee ripple, and she got the coffee, uh, chip. Oh shit. I'm See, dripping. this is what happened last time. Dripping. That's oh, how I got yeah. it all over my skirt. My wedding planner is here, and she's off the rosé. <laughs> I'll not be solo in this. Yeah, we're, we're drinking Miss Wine. We went to dinner with her parents earlier, but I didn't show it. And we're drafting our preliminary vendor list. It's a lot. It's a lot of vendors, yep. DJ slash band, you got the cake, you got the hair, dance floor and lights, silverware, all the glasses, all that. So I got this from Wicked Bride on Etsy per my friend Callie's recommendation. My friend Callie's getting married in October. And it basically gives you like a checklist of when you need to do things by. And we're thinking we need to move some of this stuff up uh, for, this is my honeymoon ideas over here, by the way, that I've added to this list. But we're maybe gonna need to move this stuff up timeline wise just because of like COVID and whatnot. But that's kind of just a little overview. So it has 12 months, six to nine, as well as three to five, one to two, and then wedding week. And then all of this is just kind of like timeline and then it gets into budget, your attire and beauty, your invitations, events, the big day, the ceremony, the reception, the honeymoon, the vendors, like you can just put all of it in here. So honestly, it's about 10.20 right now and we, there it is, there it is y'all. Mm-hmm. Sure, we're off the line, so what? But we've also gotten a lot done. Mm -hmm. We did the entire vendor list and I guess that's kind of it. And wow. then we also we also calculated the the bar an average an average of the open bar a starting price yeah so we've been just discussing if you don't have an open bar don't invite me to your wedding I'm not <laughs> I won't be in attendance if the imagine open bar going to a dry wedding oh my god that's the thing. I know someone who did that yeah no offense like if that was your wedding yeah I'm not sorry coming. I won't be attended. Attending yeah, I'm not having fun. But the stuff that we still have to do is just kind of finalize like who we're gonna use for the tent rental and like the caterer and the hotel blocks and all that stuff, which I was kind of talking about in this vlog the other night, which is why we're going to Virginia and why we're home in the first place, both of us doing a little mm -hmm. wedding planning, Prepping doing our for yeah wedding dress yeah. try on is just like one of the things like we're also just getting serious down to the let's get tea. down to business to <laughs> the let's get down to business the something i don't know the lyrics from Mulan. oh yeah good song haven't watched it in a while so long. i do have a disney plus account Years. though thanks to katie i haven't been using it that much I yeah mean, i'm on katie's too thank you katie <laughs> she's totally you watching Jerry this use it all the time <laughs> Yeah, Disney Plus is pretty cool. I told mom and dad the other night we we're having a a movie night. Oh, cute. Well, it's pretty late right now. It's no, yeah. 10. I mean, maybe, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Yeah. Dad, tomorrow night, will you do you want to watch Madagascar with me and Megan? Okay. It's pretty, it's funny. I think you'll like it. Dad, it's really funny. I watched Madagascar with Nevin when she came in town to visit me, but... Um, we quote it all the time now. King Julian. Freaks, not Maurice, the freaks, not Maurice. the freaks. <laughs> we just have to wait until they fall asleep. How long is this going to take? The best part. <laughs> or when the penguins get it. Where do they finally get to? Yeah. Where I really wanted to go. Antarctica? Yeah, and then they hate it. Oh wait, that's a spoiler. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a spoiler. Oh. It's so funny. King Julian, <laughs> not the feet, Maury. <laughs> Anyways, talked about Madagascar for a little while, but um, went off on a spiral. Guys, there's really a lot. We have to fill out our budget sheet and here our payments and our get purchases. Back to our meeting. This is our meeting. We've just been honestly the meeting's been going well. I would say that my coworker has been attentive and having fun, and that's yeah, all I would yeah, want. Okay. Um, the and most important not, part is having fun. Yeah, and not adding stress to the bride's day. <laughs> 
she's taking a, a load off of um, my shoulders for me. And tomorrow I'm gonna try on my dresses in downtown Atlanta with Nevin's mom, Erin, um, as well as my mom and Lindsay, so that's very exciting. And no, you will not see the dress until the wedding. So yeah, we'll blur it, but I think that we might do a say yes to the dress oh. moment in the vlog. Like maybe show ones that I'm like, mm, I don't love it. Okay, true. Know? Yes. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. Because they want to be involved. I'm. I hear you. Okay, I hear you on the other true. line. You're saying I want to be involved, and I'm saying I hear and you. And if you find the dress, we'll just blur it and say you have to wait to wait see it minute. for the photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the live stream. I've been really toying around with the idea of live streaming my wedding, but I think it's good. that's yeah. for another day. Oh, I have class. You don't. Like. You want to know the real difference between us? I, I have class and you don't. don't. Oh, I love that. That's me when I put on my wedding dress tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anything could happen. Anything could happen. You know, in the words of Ellie Goulding. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of miss Ellie Goulding. Yeah, she me too. To. I don't know. I was going to cut this off and say, and okay. Never what's gonna be. It seems as though the wine is flowing. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to update you no, and tell you what we've been up to. Not even. It's been an eight minute clip and dad's just in the other room. He can hear us and he's just sitting there like on his iPad like I don't even care. Damn it. <laughs> Not again. I know it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be. <laughs> Honestly, Ellie Golding at Coachella 2014. Really good. Good morning and guten tag. It is, well, I guess it's actually the afternoon now. Um, we are about to go to my first bridal dress fitting. Woo it's me and the girls in the car. My mom, Lindsay, hey. just living it up in the front seat. Lindsay's actually doing her makeup right now. We're in the uh, CVS parking lot because we got here a little early, actually a, a, a half hour early. <laughs> and so we've been killing a little time. And um, then we're going to go over to the place because we didn't want to just hang out in the parking lot. <laughs> um, I'm very excited and I think I said this last night when Lindsay and I were telling you the wedding planning updates and stuff like that that we we're doing but um, I'm just gonna have Lindsay film probably some dresses that I put on and maybe I'm like this is a no and then if I try on one and I'm like wow this is a yes then I'll probably just blur it or I won't include that so you guys can totally just be here for the old experience okay just kick your feet up you know sit back, sit back. Get a snack. Live I'm it up. I'm not the one trying on wedding dresses today. <laughs> Get a snack. By the way, y'all, I forgot to tell you earlier, we're going to Ann Barge, and we're in Marietta. I think it's between Marietta and Buckhead, actually, in Georgia, if um, any of you future brides are looking for a nice gown. Um, Nevin's mom has been working at this shop for a really long time, I feel like. For most of the time that I've known Nevin, her mom has been in bridal wear. So, um, you know, you come in, you ask for Erin Crutt, okay? Here we are, darlings. Here's our woman in her first dress. So this it's really so pretty. pretty. Well, I love it. And then she said she could do the, like, the nude underneath it, so not even the white. Yeah. Like a nude kind of coloring. So I love it. Underneath here, one of these layers. Mm -hmm. This layer. Um, what is it? The lace pop. Yeah. These sleeves would be nice and tight on you. They're not like, okay. not like a t shirt. Yeah. It would be nice and tight. Because <laughs> <laughs> all the samples are like that. a variety of sizes. Yeah. Show us the back again. Oh, that is beautiful. With the pearls. Yeah, that's so pretty. I love that on you. That's gorgeous. I like this one too, how it fits. But the, the, there's like um, a bunny. Yeah, bunny on the corset. Yep. And it's kind of stacked. But it could just be from the clamps. It's from the clamps and it's not fitting properly. Like yeah. This all needs to be nice and fitted together. Yeah, up to the top. Exactly. It's beautiful. Tell it's beautiful. me what you don't like. Snatched. Yeah. Love the lace on this one. And then my bottom is going to have that lace style. Oh, okay. Buttons, of yeah. How does that look bustle up? Same thing. I would still do the European or French bustle and bring it up underneath and have all that nice lace like that. And then like I told her, um, this this dress comes with buttons from here to here. Now we have a full lace number. It's just like this with sleeves. And then that skirt. Ooh. So the top. Obsessed. The top, amazing. You know those princess cakes that you would get at 
the grocery store. <laughs> That's what I felt like putting it on because it stood on its own. It I took it off the hanger <laughs> and then I, <laughs> <laughs> I got into it and I was like, <laughs> I'm into this cake. So fun. So I love the top on this one. I think the skirt is a little too large. Yeah. But like you said, you can always take out some of the tuning. A little bit, but this is. But it's like designed to go overall. Flowy, a flowy moment. It's really, that one really highlights her waist and the whole of her body. For sure. Could I see it with a veil? Of course. We're going to take this veil because we like this bit, please. Love that veil. So this one, I like how it's party on the top. <laughs> On Simple on the bottom. Okay, Look at this so. one. Mom and I wanted her to try this one on because it's just like so <laughs> glam. She doesn't really like it, but it's just too glam for me. It's you know so I mean? gorgeous. It may be though. a moment for Lindsay in a few years. Next year, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, pretty. Look at your butt. It looks incredible. <laughs> That's wow. This is the That's a showstopper, darling. <laughs> I love the silhouette. Yeah, I think I really like this kind of tapered yeah. out. And then I'm going to have to do a little bit. It needs to be loosened up in the hips a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, she's she's crying again. <laughs> she's crying again. Mom really likes this one. Hello, folks. So I had Lindsay film some stuff at the bridal shop, obviously, as you guys probably just saw. And um, I'm just kind of laying, laying in bed now while sitting. And I was really on the way home. I was very hangry. I had only had a piece of bread <laughs> this morning before going. So I'm like, oh, we were going to go and get lunch, but we had to go and pick up Aurora from um, her doggy daycare kind of like interview, like a temperament interview. Before they accept her, they have to see like how she interacts with all the other dogs. So we had to go pick her up from there. So we didn't get any food. So we just came home and I had some like leftovers from dinner the other night. And now I'm trying to make plans with one of my friends, Bentley, who I was gonna see tonight. She lives in like the town over. So it'd be like a little bit of a drive to go see her. And then my friend Callie also lives in that area. So I was like, maybe I'll see Callie there too. You know, maybe that would be a good option for me. But right now, I just feel like, ugh, like, you know, I'm not really like the center of attention that often. I mean, obviously, like, I do YouTube and share my life and stuff, but it's very rare that, like, multiple people will be around me being like, what do you want? What do you want to do? You know, how do you feel about this one? And, um, you know, taking things on and off my body, measuring me, touching all the things, you know? So I'm feeling a little, like... <laughs> depleted not in a bad way of just like oh my god my life is so hard but just you know when you like go and you socialize a lot and then you need to recharge that's how i feel right now is that i need my recharge time so i'm just gonna start like importing these clips kind of looking back at some of the dresses and like how they look in these video clips because basically we left with me having two options one of them is really unique and when i even saw it on the hanger i was like this might be the one. And I told Aaron that. And then my mom immediately cried when she saw me in it. So that's a sign, you know? And then we FaceTimed Nevin and Nevin was like, oh my God, that's so like Megan's vibe. Like I just look at it and I'm like, that's her, you know? And it kind of goes with the general vibe of the wedding as well. So like I kind of want fairy, bossy theme, kind of um, nature accents and stuff like that. And that dress has more of like those elements to it while also being just like, a white dress you know um and then the other one that i really like is more like wow she's giving body you know what i mean like she's snatched she's serving like it's more you know hugging my curves and nevin on facetime was like yes she's giving voluptuous <laughs> and Lindsay said you know if you want something that's more like elegant a little bit more simple while also having a little bit of zhuzh then maybe pick that one but i feel like you kind of were maybe leaning towards the more like unique one so i kind of want to just look back at these clips of like how i look in them you know and just kind of reevaluate because we only took so many pictures and stuff and um 
yeah, I just want to see them. Very exciting stuff. And I also, Aaron made it clear too, like you don't have to get from me. Like even though we're sharing this experience together, you can always go to a different bridal shop. I will not be offended. And I was like, I know girl, I know. Um, but I'm thinking like, even if, I am back and forth between these two dresses. I haven't even gotten prices on them either because like I would add sleeves onto one of them and so I need to see how much that would be because I want long sleeves for like covering of my tattoos. Not that I'm like insecure about them. I think just like on my wedding day, I just like, I always like the look of a long sleeved lace moment. And one of the dresses already has the sleeves on it and then the other dress does not yet. So I would need to add those. So that's also a cost. And so um, Aaron was like, I can get those prices back to you either later tonight or tomorrow. And then you can kind of talk about it over for the budget and whatnot. And then um, kind of reevaluate and just get back to me, just let me know. And it takes four months for them to produce dress. So I was like, okay, four months would be, so right now it's end of June. So let's just say July, August, September, October. It would maybe re be ready in like November, you know? And then I could maybe come back around the holidays and start getting my fittings done. And she said it typically takes three fittings from then on and um, yeah. So that's just kind of like the deets on that. I know you guys love to hear the planning details and what goes into it just like for your weddings in the future and stuff. Um, and some of you are probably like, I'm never getting married, but I just love to hear it and see you joyous, you know? So yeah, but um, I'm just gonna look back at these clips and um, text my friends and see the plan for tonight. Cause I think I might go over to Milton, but who knows? Hey besties. So I'm currently on the way to my friend Callie's house right now. And um, her and her fiance live in Canton, which is like outside of Milton. So I was already planning on going to Milton tonight. This is kind of what I was just talking about in the last clip. And I was going to see my friend Bentley in Milton. So I was like, why the hell not like hit them both up and do both at the same time? I remember it must have been in Vlogmas 20. 19, I want to say maybe 2018 I went to Callie's farm and was talking in like a vlog clip about how I basically met her through Twitter and um, we realized that we had some mutual friends in common and then I went out to her farm and met her that year and she yeah lives on a little farm and um, has been renovating the house she's living in and has new ducks as well so I'm excited to meet the ducks very excited I've seen lots of duck content over the last few months and I'm excited to let them eat mealworms out of my hand and um, then I'm gonna head to my friend Bentley's after this for a little bit and hang out with her mom and her sisters but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what the heck I'm up to this evening. I was re-watching all of my dress footage and try on clips before this, and I really have a dress I'm leaning towards more than the other now after like watching that. So yeah, that's exciting. But who knows, maybe I could be like, I don't know, is this the one? Do I need to go to another wedding dress try on place when I get home to Portland and like just see what they have? Cause every place is different, you know what I mean? But anyways, Callie is also getting married. And so I think I'm gonna talk to her about some of this stuff too and just like rack her brain, you know? Fuck, my camera's running out of memory. Fuck my life. <laughs> yeah, mom's getting delicious food for you. <laughs> okay, we have ducks over here. They're really excited. And we have baby chickens over here. They're freshly to the grass. I can't. <laughs> so small. You're so funny. I can't get over how funny you guys are. Okay, Get in let's there, go Ivy. one in the back. Ivy, hold on. <laughs> Do you even want any? She does, but she's late to the party all the time. Okay, we're like, okay. Big bum rush. <laughs> The last one. Such pretty coats too. Oh, I was really not expecting this color. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. 
Chickens like this. <laughs> Can I hand feed them too? Maybe some like little ones will not. <laughs> the baby ones will not. Oof, that moon, baby. I'm on my way to Bentley's. I'm leaving the farm. Hello, lobs. Okay, so it's midnight right now, and I'm currently driving home from Bentley's house. I didn't vlog with her because I was literally just like sitting at her counter talking to her and her mom for a while, showing them wedding dresses, got their opinion. They're leaning towards the same one as me, naturally. You know, when you find the one, you're like, mm, yeah, I think this is the one, and everybody's like, if you feel like that's the one, that's probably the one. Also, just wanted to say, yes, it's midnight, and I'm driving home, but I am completely sober, okay? I literally told my parents, I was like, I'll probably be home around like 10. <laughs> Nope. I stayed so long at Callie's because we were talking about all the wedding stuff. I stayed pretty long, probably at least like an hour and a half at Bentley's because I haven't seen Bentley in so long. Well, I haven't seen any of my friends since like Christmas of 2019 because of like COVID and not coming home and all of these things. And I did come home for two days, a total of literally 48 hours in January to celebrate my engagement on that road trip home um, from our Christmas trip to Virginia. And I was just celebrating with my parents. And um, I literally saw one friend completely masked. She dropped off wine on my back porch. It was my friend Mia. And um, that's the only friend I saw during that time. So everybody else I have not seen since Christmas of 2019. So it's been really nice to just like catch up with everybody. Anyways, um, I was catching up with Bentley. And I just wanna say like, Bentley is an icon. I first met Bentley through Young Life in high school. And if you're a patron of mine, maybe you've seen this video, but it was basically just like a story time kind of about like me leaving the Catholic Church and just like my relationship with religion in general and like talking about Young Life and stuff like that and kind of just unpacking that phase of my life. And Bentley has been my friend through all of that, through me, you know, leaving the church, through, she's been there through all of that. And she's still in Young Life she's like a Young Life leader for literally the girls at my high school who are just a couple years younger than me you know and oh my god this cookout line is wrapped around the block oh my god if you know you know I'm by North Point Mall right now where Lindsay and I had a meet up a couple years ago at our hometown mall love her work oh she's actually changing a lot North Point Mall is not North Point Mall anymore because we have this new fancy mall in my hometown called Avalon and like everybody goes to Avalon I guess now and North Point Mall is like completely being demolished like there's so much um, construction over here they're like breaking down all the buildings so many places are closing probably because of COVID, all these things anyways I'm rambling no one fucking cares but the moon is looking stunning tonight I'm driving home I'm loving life and I just had a great day I'm so happy to be home. This is my last night in town, so I'm just, you know, being all introspective and shit. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll see you at home or see you in the morning. I really don't know. I have to go home and pack. POV, you're walking behind me in the airport, and this is what you see. I'm all packed up and ready to go, y'all. Goodbye, my little princess. I'm going to miss you so much. I think of you every day. And look at this. New background. Who dis? Love you, Angel. Oh, really Sweetest time. love of my life. I'm gonna see you when I'm home, like, really soon again. Mm-hmm. I'll come back. It won't even be a year. Kids says film no permission. <laughs> no permission at all. I'm watching Big Little Lies on the, on the last episode of season two. Oh, that's really juicy. Why well, they only have seven episodes in the second season? I demand more. More. How many hours do you guys think are left on our big drive? Three? There's three, about three from this point. Until we get to Dublin. We're going to Dublin. And then we're going to Dublin, Ireland. I'm gonna go to Glazed and Confused. I'll see you there. This is a song I sing to Larry, but I say, Larry loves Clem. Chowder! Chowder! 
We're having some gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, show-stopping, lovely. Never I think the last before. time I had these was like five years ago on our road trip to Bonnaroo with Squirtle. <gasps> Remember, because he had it on his head. Oh my god, yeah, when we, we finished around. the box and he literally was wearing it as a hat. Yeah, we turned around <laughs> to the back seat and Squirtle had the Munchkins box upside down on his head. Oh. When he was a puppy. Miss his work. And I honestly think it's awesome we ate them. Wow. Like if we're back here chugging a truly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was thinking about getting one at the gas station yesterday and then I was like, I guess that's a little strange. <laughs> that's a little The girls are here and they're ready. Okay. Um, Lindsay just did an entire outfit change in the Exxon. It's only best stop. It's only best seen full body. Not yeah, sitting only in from the upper. She was like, I changed into my overalls in the Exxon bathroom. I have bathroom. to be standing the entire day, or else my outfit looks bad. Well, That's you're you're like. definitely gonna be sitting a lot. So. I might change again when we get there. Um, we just made it to Finley's hometown and um, we're just going to be doing a little looking around, exploring, you know, see, surveying the scene, seeing what it's going to be like to have a wedding here, truly. And uh, we're like 15 minutes from the house. So I'm just going to end off the vlog here because I probably will not be vlogging slash definitely will not be vlogging while we're doing the meet the parents moment because I was talking about this on Twitch. I was like, one, I'm already going to be vlogging enough. This is probably going to be like close to an hour long vlog and you're gonna be getting the content at home. Two, there's already enough feelings and you know, just like, hey, this is my Paris, this is your Paris, the whole thing. And then you add a camera in there, it's gonna be a no from me, my darlings. Um, so just, we're gonna go have fun now, you hear? Y'all be safe now, all right? Lucinda, do you have any last words? Not seeing you folks. Not seeing you folks. What about you, mom and dad? Do you wanna say anything, any last words to the dad, vlog? Say, say bye, besties. <laughs> Goodbye, besties. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really good. Stay smiling. Bye. <laughs>